So with each day of the Olympics, we are going to be making a video covering every single bit of news from each event. We're going to talk through all the results from every single competition. So if you have missed any news of the Olympics or maybe it's been going on while you've been asleep, I know a lot of people in the UK and US, a lot of it is either early morning or late in the evening. So this is your place to find out what's been going on in the Olympics and we will cover every story. So please consider subscribing, turning on post notifications, leaving a like, and also comment down below your predictions for future events, and also what you thought of the events, what we're touching on in this video. Firstly, in the women's steeplechase, no real shocks as Bahrainian athlete Yavi qualifies as the fastest with a time of 9.10. All Americans qualify to the final, being the only nation with three athletes in the 15-person final. In the women's hammer throw, the top of qualification was a Polish athlete with a distance of 76.99. In the women's long jump, eight athletes jumped to auto qualification, with the furthest jump being seven meters. German Mia Hambo seems to be the favorite. She jumped the second furthest with 6.98. It was the final of the women's shot put and Gong of China won by a huge margin with a massive throw of 20.58. Raven Saunders was second in 1979 and veteran Valerie Adams took third in 1962. In the men's 400 meters, Michael Cherry progressed with the fastest time with a 44.82. Other favorites such as Stephen Gardner and Michael Norman both ran in the 45s to auto qualify. In the men's high jump, my favorite moment of the Olympics so far as Tambiri and Barshim share gold after having the exact same high jump record. We can't show the video due to copyright, but I strongly suggest you check it out. In the men's 100 meters semi-final, Sue impressed the most with 9.83. The biggest shock was the pre-Olympics favourite Trayvon Brommel not making the final. In the final, it was Italian Jacobs who got gold in 9.80, which is quicker than when Usain Bolt won it in the 2016 Olympic Games. Fred Curley got second in 9.84, and Andre de Grasse adds to his medal tally with 9.89. In the women's 100m hurdles, Cam Quinn runs an Olympic record with a time of 12.26. The world record holder Kendra Harrison also progresses but Jamaica failed to make it free in the final as Thompson clipped a hurdle and failed to finish. In the women's triple jump final, Rojas absolutely destroyed the 26-year-old triple jump world record and seems like she can jump much further after having only a 3-metre middle phase. Patricia Mamana takes silver and Anam Pelletitro takes bronze. In the men's 800 metres, Fergus Rotich and Peter Ball impressed the most with auto qualifications of low 144. You had to run 144.3 to qualify as the fastest loser. Only one American and zero British athletes made the final. Adding to the shock was originally fastest athlete of the year, Nigel Amos, who was tripped and didn't make the final. But he has been added to the final due to an appeal, which is the beauty of a nine lane track. In the men's 400 meter hurdles, Carson Walholm qualifies as the fastest with 47.30. Somewhat of an anticlimax as the two favourites were put in the same final as Benjamin also easily qualifies. He had to run sub 48 seconds to receive a fastest loser spot for the final. The performance of the day goes to both Italians, Jacobs and Tambiri. Before this season, Jacobs had never ran inside 10 seconds. And obviously, Rojas also gets the performance of the day with a world record and absolute dominance in the triple jump. The shock of the day would be Trayvon Bromel not making the 100m final and all the 800m drama. Please like and subscribe and turn on notifications for all your news related to the Olympics. And we're going to be making a video every day as well as posting on our Instagram and releasing podcasts. So yeah, comment down below any results you were surprised with or not so surprised with and what you're most looking forward to or what your predictions are for the next few days of track and field.